All right, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q is here bringing you some more League of Legends action, playing some of the Mantheon in the top lane. So the runes we're going is Electrocute. Um, you could potentially do Aftershock. I was looking up some Korean build, and it seems like the uh, one of the best Korean players of Pantheon um, goes Electrocute into melee matchups and Aftershock into range. The reason you would do that is because when you W and trigger the Aftershock, uh, it helps you survive like the walk away trade. So, let's see if I get the electrocute proc. Perfect. Back it up. Should have popped the potion there, but no biggie. Let's see if I can get level two here. All right. What I don't want to do is trade into that shield. That's the goal. Um, because that prevents a lot of my damage from going through. But yeah, the goal as Pantheon is to roam and make play. So you want to pressure your opponent with ignite. And then uh, go for kills around the map. So Shen's going to be a little hard to kill. But Proc is a bone plating. Wait for that shield to add. No damage there. Walk away. Got the minion aggro. Cool. Once level 3 hits, I'll get the extra crit damage too if he's below 50%. But Taking all the minion damage. Walk away. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna pop another potion here in a second. Why his aftershock is still down. So he took that damage. Got the crit kill there. I think a Wukong caught. Oh. I don't know where the. I might not need it to a flash there. I'm not sure where the hitbox is on the Shen. Not worth dying over. I can just collect this wave. And this one. What's nice too is it's really easy to last hit with Pantheon as I miss one because he gets the guaranteed crits. I'm right, gonna max Q first. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to trade into that. Nice, back it up. Wait for my W to be back up, and then we can go in. And a little whack. Must be warded. Yep, I agree. Gotta be careful not to spam up out any more mana. Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the build I'm going is Duskblade. Uh, I was looking up the Korean guy. And he goes Duskblade into Edge of Night, which actually I think is going to be really good against Morgana. Into, um... Lord Dominic's into Guardian, so that's going to be the, the full build that I go for. Awesome, I'm going to get a ward down. The Shed walks towards me, I know. Uh, Kane is probably here. Ooh, got a little chunk there. Get his bone plate, what's his bone plating's off? He walks up, I'm going to jump on him with W. Oh god. Close. If I had enough mana for that last spear, I would have I would have killed him. I'd like to hit level six so I can just jump back to lane if I need to. I want to make sure this pushes in. Hopefully Kane isn't there. Gotcha! Woo! Close. Very close. Had just enough mana to salvage that. Oh, that's perfect too because he's gonna miss out on that whole wave. So definitely need some lethality and I want some boots to kind of uh, Get away from him a little bit easier I'm Gonna head back to top lane. So now what I want to do is try to clear the wave and then go make a play use my jump So kind of think of it the same thing as like TF. TF wants to get to level 6 make a play This is actually kind of interesting because they have two global champions uh, Twisted Fate's basically global, Shen being global, so they can kind of match my ultimate pretty well, but I can also match theirs. And then took absolute focus because normally you're at above full health when you do your first kind of hits. Alright, there's the uh, initial shield. The spear. There's the bone plating. Back it up. This wave's probably just going to crash into me. That's fine. Let him know Shen's level 6. 
Cool. Freeze out the wave here. Back it up. Alright, and then... So if I freeze shut out, he's going to want to try and make a play. It's not ideally what I want to do as a Pantheon, but it's going to set Shen super far behind, and eventually I'll get to the point of damage where I'll be able to kill him a lot easier. Nice. You need to trim these down a little bit. You need four minions for a freeze. Oh, uh, there he is. He's teleport before. So, push it in. Then I want to push it in and make a play myself. Jeez. That's not good. Well, I uh, I pinged. He was level six. Nothing I could do there. Like I said, I want to definitely punish him for this minion wave. Push as fast as I can. Then maybe I can jump bottom. Okay, there's his flash. Maybe get some jungle pressure. He's going to be down at least 20 CS. If you hug this wall, actually, will not be seen by that plant. Get a deep ward. Unfortunately, they're not pushed out enough for me to do anything there. So I'm going to go buy double long swords as I build towards my dust blade. Well, there's Kane. Go ahead, bot lane. Blue cover top, please. They might actually get it. They might not need me. I don't think I'll get there in time. Oh. Nice. Good shit. Good job. So that's what I want to do. So I can... They're both dead. We might be able to force this tower. Wukong's got top. So I'm going to pop the potion. If someone comes, I can jump on them. Minions, nice. Maybe we might be able to get it. Tristana takes towers really fast. Damn. What are you doing? Nice. Perfect. Damn. I don't know why they ran. Could have easily gotten that. I'll take it though, double kill. Keep working towards my dust blade. And I'm gonna want Mercury Treads in this game as well. It's gonna help against their whole entire team. Alright, they got the TF. So that basically allowed Shen to uh, catch up his CS, but we're basically now matched for kills because I got the double kill, he got the double kill. So should still be go doing good on the damage front against him. So, 48 to 56, I'm actually ahead, and look how far down we got that tower. But yeah, that's the goal. So we pushed the lane, made a play, forced tower, do something. We got options. Nice. Cool. Another hit. Back it up. There it is. There it is. Cool. So they got that. So I ideally want to split bottom now. That way I can uh, jump around. So I want them to come top. Pop a potion here. See if I can make a play with my jump. If the scuttle crab is up, I'd really like to take that. Nice. Pantheon's actually a really good jungler, too, because he has great scuttle control. He can take it on level 2, no problem. Use that. Got a flash out. Didn't want to get CC'd. Damn it. That came timing. Alright, I gotta head bot. I have jumped to get back. Scare away. Guys, that. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. I think he went assassin, Kane. Gonna grab this. Uh, gotta make sure I try to stay healthy because I took absolute focus uh, while above 70%. Do extra damage. 
Out this way. Nice. Run up top. He's resurrecting. No. Nope. Cancel that. Hit back off. Okay. He's probably gonna come for his red. See if I can get some deep vision. We're gonna backed. Cool story. I thought more got it backed. Just not. Lame. Very, very lame. Mm, yeah, he did Shadow Assassin. Damn. That's my fault. I walked into that. I thought Kane was pathing this way. My fault. My fault. That Kane is super fed, which I also did not know. <laughs> Alright, I got my jump. If TF keeps pushing, I can uh, probably kill him. I got my dust blade now. I got it. Ideally, he pushes the, to the tower. Or keeps walking into tower, if you know what I mean. He's probably going back mid. He's not staying. Someone's teleporting. Has to be Shen. Oops. Don't know how I didn't get that. Weird. Alright, there's Kane. Let's see what's up. Uh... I'm coming! Sweet. Just popped her. Jump into lane, kill some people. Kill that. Get Scuttle Crab. So, what I want to do is always push it right past the river. What that does is it creates about a 40 second window for you where the wave is pushing and then it'll either crash into tower or someone from the enemy team has to answer for it. They have to collect, push the wave, hopefully not miss all their CS. Jeez, I'm on my way. Um, so now watch this wave. So at about like 1430, 1450. will be good. So yeah, this will hit tower and start coming this way, and a nice big wave will generate about right here. So I'm gonna go for edge of night next. I'm gonna grab double long swords again. Grab a control ward, and grab that. And then head by So here comes TF. So this is gonna quicken the process a little bit, but now this is a cannon wave that's gonna be pushing this way because TF just cleared it. So I'm gonna head bottom lane. Uh, I always wanna be splitting the opposite lane of the next objective so dragon was just taken so rift herald is the next thing on the map honestly probably mid tower is the next thing we really want so yeah look at this three six five three so this would on this side of the map slowly push towards me but i don't want to come back in like 10 seconds so i want to push a little bit faster lord dominix is gonna re oh he did go dark in form they're coming my way I see him. Come up this way. I know they placed the ward. Cool. Nice. Might have gotten that. But, uh. Pop potions. Executed. Nice. That stopped all of his healing from his ultimate. that. Just look at you W stun someone if I can. Wukong has ultimate though, and the better thing would be for him to initiate. Oh yeah. Oh man. If I had my uh, flash earlier, I probably would have done it. Come on. Oh. Good job Wukong. Um, they're all back alive. So we should probably back. A little bit of stranger danger. Yeah, gotta back it up. I got 1300 gold. Zillion's putting in work. What? Alright, so. Edge. Grab 
this and this. So that'll be really nice because when I'm running at them, then I can pop it. So if Morgana tries to, you know, stun me or TF tries to gold card, I am good. Well, Wukong's leaving. Um, I think we should try and grab Rift Herald. We got time. Probably in here. Yep. Pull that off. Who calls him so bad? I can take it. That's fine. I can always jump in. I'm gonna pop a closer to stay healthy. Our team backed on us, which is not good. This makes me kind of nervous about this. So I'm gonna start popping abilities. We need to take this quick. Nice. Oh. Sweet. Wait. Gotta push this wave in real quick. Don't really need to be here yet, but let's get it out of the way. Nice. What do I need for my edge? 1125? Okay. So now next objective is either going to be Baron, which isn't super duper realistic uh, yet for us, uh, or Dragon in two minutes. So I'm probably gonna, what do I have on Rift Herald? Okay, just a hair over two minutes. So I'd probably like to set it top once Dragon comes up. Yeah, he knows I'm here. I don't see too many people. I see TF, so I at least know I can't be, uh... Okay, so Kasai's towards top. Yep. So I'm gonna back. See how fast I can get bottom. It's not gonna be a dog. Yikes. Well, I'll have Ignite to potentially kill the Kasai. I'm gonna come up and cover this. Get a good angle. Fall right here. So she has to run this way or that way. Alright. She's dead. Bye. <laughs> she didn't leave much sooner. Okay, so he's going that way. I'm gonna pop Rip Herald. They need to keep up there. Maybe we can get uh, some good tower damage. Give me Shen. I have red buff. Potion. Mm, close. Really close. Because I have. Oh god. Mm. I have to be really careful with how I play this. Because he probably has blue slow. Yep. Okay. Well, we didn't get as much as I would have liked from that. But we got mid tower as a result because they said three people after me. So honestly. I'll take it. I see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is what you do as Pantheon. You just kill everybody. Just run around. So easy. Oh, they got the dragon. Nice. Shit, let me move on all for No alt? I don't know why Zillion didn't alt me. But okay. Painful! I just didn't expect me to die that fast. Oh well. Happens all good. Cool. Alright, run bottom. I wonder 
wonder if I can last for seven seconds. My alt channels. Oh, hey, he's gone. I wonder if I can edge of night and then ultimate. Hmm. I guess we will see. Because I feel like that's the ideal way to do it. Because seven seconds. It doesn't tell me how long the channel is. I think it's like three seconds. Push this wave. I want to get my uh, um, last whisper. That'll help me land against the Shen. Or split against him. Check for vision. I see TF. Kind of curious here. Push us into tower then. This should give me enough. And I want to pressure bot side uh, for Baron. You guys top. I split butt. So I can grab this. Head bot lane. Because realistically, I only have to get to about here, and then I can just jump over to a fight if need be. Alright, I definitely want to get their Rift Sculler. That'll give me a nice amount of vision in the bot lane. Okay, they're not fighting good. Not fighting. Awesome. Well, Tristana's going to get that tower. She's going to push way too fast, I feel. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> Just dies so quick. Bye. So you later. You really should have probably built a uh, Zanias. But, oh, if I didn't mention, a really cool thing about Pantheon is his passive actually blocks tower shots. So it's actually pretty easy to tower dive with him. I don't think they're gonna commit to that fight. Don't think they're committing. Cool. So you every four auto attacks, you block the next auto attack. It does count empowered attacks. Um, and then your W resets it. So realistically, you want to use up a stack or your passive W and then reuse it. So you can dodge like two auto attacks in a row. I got alt ready. They can just, if they're playing the poking game, I'm not super helpful in that anyways. So I'm gonna run top, or middle I mean, where I'm close enough to reinitiate into fight. This will take someone away from their fight, or I'll get something for free. Coming back, they're going in. Nope, okay. Alright, I will have a hard time killing him, so I gotta be careful not to get knocked up. So I'll keep the pressure on him. He's their most fed one, so weak as hell and weak as hell. So the longer I keep Kane here, the better for my team. Nice. There you go. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. So that's what you, that's the goal of a split push. So I take away their strongest person because I won't die to them. And they're left against the weak player. So our team wins the 4v4. So that's to our advantage. Nice. And my goal is just to keep Kane here. I don't actually need to accomplish anything. My team will do all the work. And then the next item is going to be Guardian Angel. And then uh, final item would be a, a um, Ghost Blade. Yikes. That's not good. Got him. Come on this way. Probably dead. Let's gonna do this just in case Shen tries to bomb me. Sorry, Zillion. I'm out. I live. Woo! Scary. Cool. If the Kasai wasn't there, 
I'd consider going for that. Nice. I have too much gold. I gotta jump. I can run back. I'm tempted to jump now, but I won't. Grab that. And that. Push these. Oh, I forgot to do my... I forgot. My bad. Shit. Shit. I don't think I... I'm faster than because of Relentless Hunter. I won't kill him, though. Just making him run. Oh, 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 oh. I will catch him. Yeah. Oh, that's that Dominix, man. That damage just shreds through his, uh, his armor. And the recent paths actually changed that. Dominix used to do like a percentage health goofiness. I honestly forget how it works because it's not honestly a Jax item. So I never built it. Uh, but I know it was changed back to flat armor penetration. Which is obviously really good. So I think 1800? 2200. So once again, we can split. She disappeared. Bye! Holy shit. Just did so much freaking damage. Woo! Take those for free. No need to get greedy. Gonna protect the Tristana. I can, uh. Nice. Oh, he's gone. We could go, uh, get this. And then, I don't know if we can end or not. I like how this Shen's complaining. I feel like he kind of got owned too. We don't have a minion wave yet, so we can just take this. I have a really nice minion score too this game, which I'm really proud of. Honestly, that's, uh, in my commentaries, that's something I struggle against. Hold the Pantheon. Oh, I didn't click it in time. So yeah, that's what you want to do is you want to, the nice thing, the cool thing about Pantheon is you can always justify taking Ignite. So you take Ignite, smash lane, and then take tower and do roams. That's really the way you want to play it. Um, it's kind of interesting this game though, to be going against someone else with a global ultimate. Normally you force their teleport back. Uh, to lane as opposed to making a play on the map so they can't follow you. But it still really, really worked out. Let's see. Let's check out the damage. Number one. <laughs> so, yeah, just a uh, rude rundown again for you guys. Um, electrocute, sudden impact for the burst of um, lethality. Eyeball collection for damage, Relentless Hunter, so you can run up. You saw how I was running up against that Shen. We both had boot too. I was faster, specifically because of Relentless Hunter. Gathering Storm to give you some late game scaling, because uh, Pantheon traditionally has very poor late game scaling. Uh, and then Absolute Focus, because generally um, you're, more, you're above more than 70% health, which is when it's uh, activated. Normally you're chilling back and chucking spears in lane, so you get the extra AD off of that. Uh, you could also take you still take these same two sorcery ones but if you're against a range matchup like Teemo Kennen, you take Aftershock because your W guarantees the Aftershock proc and then you get all those defensive resistance where you can continuously attack or you can back up and you're not taking as much damage. So I hope you guys like that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're still watching. Definitely appreciate it. Let me know uh, in the comments or through your likes if you like seeing me play other champions. It is always exclusively going to be a Jax channel, but I do four videos a week, so I like the kind of ratio of three to one. I like doing three Jax videos, usually a goofy build, two kind of like real ones, if you will, and uh, one off 
meta or off champion type deal. So let me know what you think about that layout. But thanks again, guys. Catch you next time. Peace.